Right, I think we're back on. Ah, I don't know what's going on with my life at the minute. Right, we'll see if anyone comes in. I'm pretty sure that's it back on. Doing great, mate. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you for asking. Alright, I think we're back on. Right, so I don't know how many people missed the part of the other stream. So I just traded in my man truck for a Scania. Uh, I don't know. I've finally got my Scania mods working again. I don't know how much of the other stream was actually on, but that is the Scania that we just built. So it's a Scania 4 series. Uh, beautiful truck again we'll add more to it the more money we earn so right we're just going to pick a tanker up yeah so I'm just going to go and pick a tanker up and then we are going to Kalmar Gonna pick the back wheel up a bit. Hey, Philip, mate, how is it going? Hey, twenty mile. Go and pick the trailer up, and then we're off. First drive, and it's the first time we've owned the Scania. Congrats on the 70k trees, buddy. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Absolutely incredible. Just can't believe how far the community's come, you know. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, it's amazing to think it hasn't even been a full year yet. About, not far off, it's about 11 and a half months the channel. Over a year ago, well, if you say a year ago, we only had 11 subscribers, it's incredible. I love the sound of this man. I think this is going to be the truck we use all the time, isn't it? Hey Matt Walk, how's it going? sounds so good. It's not a V8 either so it sounds fairly well considering it's not a V8. Hey, you know why it sounds good? Because it's not an Iveco. <laughs> That's why it sounds good. Bloody Iveco fanboys. Right, we're going freight. We're taking a job to Kalmar. It's a little tanker with fertilizer in it. So, drop some fertilizer off for a local farm. Pretty cool.
Uh, it's a mod for the engine sound, but the actual truck is a mod as well. So this. Right, I'll need to drop down the back wheel as well. So yeah, this truck is actually an engine. Uh, is actually a mod as well. So this is a Scania 4 series. So you can't actually get this truck in the game. You need to download it. There's loads of modifications for it as well, but. We can't really afford to do much at the minute. Yeah, you don't get uh, you don't get high echoes that sound like that. I tell you that. <laughs> I've already tried it, mate, and Renault's tried them all. I would never mock before I've tried them. I tried it, and it belongs in the skip. Pretty much based on an Iveco, right? You can leave right now. <laughs> right, I'm sorry, but I've never heard an Iveco that sounds like this, man. And this isn't even a V8. What I like as well, the light bar that I've got on, the indicator works on it as well, look. I don't know how well you can see that, because the GoPro is a bit bright, but... Pretty cool. I'm timing myself out. <laughs> original map or uh, I don't know I don't know where we're at uh, no this isn't the original map this is a mod it's a uh, pro mod oh, I'm so happy to be in a Scania again oh my days why why just drive into me But, Brian Davidson, you contact him through the uh, Facebook community. He makes these button boxes. I made that one. Hey, Jack. I know I didn't even know it would crash, so I'm, I'm sitting there driving along talking to myself. <laughs> oh, man, it is so hot in here. So oh, how's everybody else's day going today? Hope everybody's having a good day. If it's got anything to do with Iveco, I don't want to hear it, mate. Nice three weeks off, eh? Wow. Hey, uh, Ronald, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. I hope you're having a good one.
Hey Mark, it gives you a lot, it gives you like Finland, Iceland, yeah, it just gives you so much. Uh, you get islands, top of Scotland. I can't even tell you what it gives you because I can't remember, but it does give you a lot. If you only, if you play a single player a lot, you definitely want pro mods. It's incredible. I have had a player of ETS two. Oh, you got it working. Did you get it? Can you, why can't you get an MP? How did it play? All right. All right, 50 mile an hour. The little button box comes from a guy called Brian Davidson. If you go in the link in the description for the Facebook community, he's an admin on there and you can contact him. Come on little truck. Alright, we'll get the uh, cruise control on. There we go. Still a big novice. Uh, very good to be honest. Ah, awesome. What did you play? Just with a keyboard? Uh, this one that I made, no, and it was very expensive. It, it took us about 11 hours just to solder it. All the soldering. Uh, yeah, but it cost about £100 to make that one. No, no joke, honestly. The circuit board was 40 quid. And about 30 quid in all the buttons. The two boxes were 10 quid each. It, it was expensive to make, you know. I love it and it's brilliant and it works great but it, it, it did take a lot of making. The trucker's MP doesn't support Mac. Oh, you're joking. Seriously? Oh, that's not good. I can see an eye echo coming in your wing mirror. So, Darren, you actually drive a real live echo then? In, 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 in serious notes. Yes, mate, I'm in pro mods. I don't know if I'm in pro mods an hour, like. Uh, where are we at now? Yeah, I'm just leaving Stockholm, so I think that's pro mods. What do you drive in real life then, Darren? Ah, good day Mr. Roberto, how are you doing? No, <laughs> Roberto, lol. How's it going mate, you alright? Hope you're having a good day. Just got my brand new Scania bot for the company, so... The first Scania that I've purchased. We've never had a Scania yet on this uh, particular profile, because my mods didn't work. Wonderful day, just got off my 72 hour shift. Awesome buddy. You wanna really like stop being lazy and get some work done, you know? Took that picture for you to put in your wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, I could do mate, absolutely. Uh, Darren, what truck do you actually drive then? <laughs> yeah, he's streaming today, Rob. Uh, we're going to be on FS server later today. Nine o'clock, I'm uh, on there with my dad, mate. Yeah, every Thursday at 9 o'clock we go on the Fabsome survey. Yeah. yeah, absolutely mate, yeah. Right, we just had to pay a loan instalment of £5,700. We owe some money, like. 
How much did this cost you all? I have no idea. I don't know. Right, Mark, I was Birmingham and drifting in real life. So glad uh, to see you happy. Hey, Raj, how are you doing? Brilliant. Absolutely life changing experience. It's a shame to come back to so much heat, but yeah, it was just incredible. Absolutely incredible. I've got to be the saddest person in the world to be complaining that it's too hot. But it's too hot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, Rob. I mean, Rob, if you're going to include my desk setup as well, I would definitely push it to about $12. But uh, you're close. You're definitely, definitely close. Right, uh, you're going to upload the drifting mark. I will do, mate, in the next couple of weeks, yep. There's some more important matters to do first, like streaming. Uh, and then uh, I've desperately got to get the review done on this simulator. At the moment, a man TGX 480. Nice. But in the next two weeks, either a DAF, Volvo or Scania. So, Mr. Darren, the... Uh, Iveco fan over there doesn't drive Ivecos in real life because they are absolutely poo. Such a good sounder with this man. What? He drove into me again. Uh, I got drilled and slaughtered runners for my wife's Pontiac uh, overkill. I did see them. I was actually in the stream. And my god, that was absolutely overkill. Right, for someone asking what truck we are driving, this is our new Scania that we added to the fleet today. I did build it on stream, but then uh, the stream died because Jack joined. Now, yeah, it's a Scania 4 Series, yeah, 164, I think. Uh, I think it's got about, I think it's got a 420 in it. It's not a V8, so. Yes, yeah, so I traded the Man TGX 410 in uh, for this uh, 164. So, and then I'm gonna once I can afford to get a new garage, we need. I'm gonna go out and buy a bigger garage so we can get a, a, a Scania T. I really want to buy a Scania T. Like, I do really like them, but I don't want to drop to any less than four trucks. So. Although I didn't know many Euro trucks with four steam wheels. I know, but it's nice, isn't it? We are keen, isn't it? GT3 RS, so yeah, it's nice. Yeah, this is out of a 918, this, a replica anyway. I absolutely love it, like. Again, it's a bit overkill, a bit like what you were saying about the wife's uh, rotors, but <laughs> I love it. Oh, 
Look, I only about found this neck of the woods, man. Yeah, I've got to get me dad on the single player, man. With their pro mods and like a decent truck, you know, he'll love it. He'll absolutely love it. What's the speed limit here? Oh, 30. Tech, how are you doing, buddy? Didn't realise you were in. The biggest thing we need to concentrate on at the moment is getting the loan paid off if we can. That would really, really help. Yeah, I've got a terrible memory, mate. Absolutely terrible memory. <laughs> Nice little housing estate down there. Some of the uh, the graphic details are put in incredible. Oh, do you play Pro Mods as well, do you? Oh, Pro Mods is brilliant, mate, yeah. It really, really opens the game up, you know, and bear in mind, I mean, I've never found the game boring myself, but it, it's only, you don't realise how boring the game is until you put Pro Mods in and then take it out and go back to what it was. It was, uh, there's not a lot to it, really, when you, when you go backwards. I don't really play the game without promos now, <laughs> I'm the same. It's only when I play multiplayer. Multiplayer definitely, but... Ah, I forget you guys can actually see the mirrors now as well. There's a weird bush here. I'm hoping we can drive through the weird bush. Oh yeah. Ah no no, I'm still a, I'm still not an ATS fan. Like I'm really not. I don't know why. I just, I just kind of get into it, you know. Palma, how you doing, buddy? broken down nine mile away from Kalmar. I think what I'm gonna do is just work my way down and across. I don't know where I want to be because I would like to own a garage down the bottom of France uh, because obviously the more work we do 
my next goal is to buy another garage. I don't see the point in extending the garage because if you extend the garage, it's 180,000. If you buy another garage, it's 180,000. So I'd rather just buy another garage. Ah, okay, Rob, yeah, you take it easy, mate. What truck am I in? It's Scania 164L. Minions are going mental. <laughs> Sign language. Are you joking? Do you even know me? For this tech, it's only going to be a G25, G27, G29, or G920, isn't it? So. There's only four. <laughs> only four that people love having anyway. I know you can get the other one, you can get the uh, the one my dad used to have, what was that, the G4 side, the GT, I tell you what it was, but yeah. The G920 and the G29 are exactly the same wheel. Apart from one's console, uh, one's Xbox and one's PS4. Oh, come on, power. Power, you can do it. Come on. The same looking wheel. One's got an Xbox button on it and one has. How are you doing Alexander? How is it going? But the G27 beats them all reverse tech, that's it mate, that's it. <laughs> hey, to be fair, with buttons and all that, it wouldn't bother me. They've all got the same internals, so... LDS, how are you doing buddy? Hope you are well. Right, we're just pulling into Kalmar now. Ah, cheers Alexandra. Uh, I take it you haven't seen the GoPro cam yet. For a difficult parking, we're down at a farm somewhere. I don't know where that. What do you reckon? Do you think we should just get a job from here? 
How many hours is it before I need to sleep? Ah, I've got three hours yet, like. I could get a job straight from here. That's a big blade. Look at the size of that man. Jesus. That's a big job. that park next job so got 250 uh, mile job there so that give us another 10 grand so we'll try and just get a job straight from here if we can because otherwise you need to use the fuel to go ah it's just not worth it right job from Kalmar uh, that blades over to Norway anyone fancy a drive to Norway I suppose if we go all the way over to Norway, that gets us near, near back to the UK. That's that big, uh, that big blade we were just talking about. Loads of farming equipment, man. I love that. When you go to different parts, and it puts in the proper farming equipment and that, really, really good. Uh, my name is Jeff. Just subscribe, cheers, buddy. Right, so I think we'll just take the big blade then. Right. I'll do that. Hi, right, monkey, how's it going, mate? Right, so we'll only get three hours driving with this and then we'll need to pull over for a break. Right, so we've got... You can either take the big one or the small one. We'll take the big one. And we are going to... Stravanger. A fair few miles, that. Right, it's right back wheel up or down. Down it is. Right, this is the job we're taking. This thing is huge, so it's a turbine blade. Look at the size of it, man. This isn't a V8, this, and it doesn't have that much power. So, I don't know how well this is going to pull. Oh, it's massive, like, no, seriously, like, the size of it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I had a T-150, a T-500, and then a TX. Oh, we hit the wall. It's not a rear steer trailer either, which makes it look a bit more difficult. Wow. 
Right, there you go, so we have how many miles are we running? We've got 646 miles to go. I'm in a Scania 4 series for anyone interested. Uh, we just bought it. So I haven't done much to it yet, but changed the axle on it, put a different roof on it. I like it. And then we are taking a turbine blade. So you can clearly see it's uh, fairly big. See, the only thing I don't like about the Logitech stuff is once you get into it and you get into some racing and that, most people change over to a belt driven wheel, whether that be a Fanatic wheel or a Thrustmaster. Most people go for a Thrustmaster wheel. So the T150 and the TMX aren't belt driven, they are gear driven uh, and belt driven. So, but the, the biggest problem is. If you go for a TMX or a T150, then add a TH8 shifter to it, then add the pedals to it, you can then change the wheel itself and keep your pedals and shifter. You can do that with a G29 and a G920 if you use adapters and you're only on PC, but I think going for like a, the lower end Thrustmaster one first, then adding to it is a better option in my opinion. T150 I heard of a stronger motor and quieter and smoother than the G29 and is belt driven I believe and has a quick release. No it doesn't. The T150 doesn't have a quick release and it is not belt driven. It's gear driven and belt driven. It's an eco wheel. Yeah, the, the G29 is cheaper, but as I say, in the long run, I think going straight down the Thrustmaster route would be better. But that's just my opinion. That's what I did. I bought a G27 and ended up with a Thrustmaster wheel. So, And most of my friends all bought G Logitech wheels and then ended up with a, you know. So I know you did, Carl. Yeah, I was just saying the, the, the TX wheel. The 458TX and the T300, they're both belt driven and they are both uh, have changeable wheels on them. Yeah Simon, that's what I would do, because then if you change your wheel later down the line, you can then... Uh, you can keep your pedals, you can keep your shifter, so... Right, you can change the room too if it's uh, if you are okay with stripping out the hull. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, all I was meaning was you can't change the wheel without losing your warranty, and you can't buy like extra wheels like an F1 wheel, or you can adapt it. Bear in mind, I say I had a I had a, uh, a Fanatic wheel, yeah, a Logitech wheel myself. I know you can add things to them. I added a Sparco quick release to mine. Uh, but again, it voids the warranty, so <laughs> it's great and all that, but it's only good if you can't take it back. Yeah, Aaron, exactly, exactly. Good point. See, I've seen G29s and that, and G920s for. Uh, 160 quid on offer in PC World, so if you can get the shifter with it as well, I mean it's a good deal, but again, you then need to sell it if you want to change up. Simon, I can't drive in real life. 
I'm banned for health reasons. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's worth stopping here for a sleep. No, another two hours yet. So if I can get another two hours out of the drive, the only thing is we're going to be driving in the dark, but not a lot I can do about that. Try and keep an eye out for somewhere to sleep. Keeping an eye on everything and make sure you're not gonna like screw up. It is quite difficult. When you're trying to do it all properly it is anyway. a bird. Uh, I can't go outside on my own buddy so my wife's at work so that's why I'm in here. I said you've allowed me, you can say I have echo. You're not going to get timed out. Right, I definitely need to look for somewhere to sleep now. Yeah, I know reverse tech, but yesterday you got timed out for saying I have echo because the mods got carried away. <laughs> Firefighter, you're right there. Yeah, I know you did, monkey, I know. I did have a word. It's alright, it's all sorted. Alright, we need to get some naps in. Uh, oh, there's no battle station.
can't find somewhere and sleep. Alright, uh, I think the only the only thing I can do is come off of this local town and try and find somewhere to sleep because uh, <laughs> not good. Yeah, Jeff is watching the baby minions mess about. Good point. <laughs> Hello from Russia, how you doing mate? Hope you're well. Hope you are well. I need to get a better headband for this man. It's terrible. find in a minute if we don't get the uh, uh, I don't know, I need to pull over. Right, I'm gonna get fined if I don't get to a, a rest point soon so I can't get to that petrol station so I'm gonna need to go here. on me rest 14 minutes and I'm gonna get fine that's not 14 real ones right. come on I'm gonna get done I'm trying to find a place man Six minutes to go. How we do it? Five minutes to go. Don't even know if I'm gonna get in here. Let me sleep here, why? Why won't they let me sleep? I need to nap. I'm here. Oh no, why won't they let me sleep? This is not good. I'm gonna miss the time, three minutes. I know I'm getting tired, but it won't let me nap. Let me sleep. Oh no. Try and drop the trailer. Close one. That was close. That was that was brutal. <laughs> right, uh, we still got 530 miles to go. Right, uh, scanners are not well. You can show up as well. Oh, I got my lights on, in, mate. Thanks for that, buddy. You want me to live stream me putting the lights on so you can laugh at me or? <laughs> Right, uh, Capture, what's Capture up to? Completed his first job. 
<laughs> awesome, buddy. All right, 10 to 5 in the morning, so it's not too bad. We'll, we'll be driving in the dark a little bit. Oh, she stole. Stalled it. Bear in mind, this isn't a rear steer trailer, so you do have to go really wide with it. Just to warn people, if you're going to put the Jazzy Cats modded trailers in, you do you do need to drive uh, quite wide with them. Hey Sam, how's it going? Yeah, it's going really well mate, absolutely spot on. Nearly had a slight disaster with the uh, finding somewhere to sleep. I just need to put some fuel in now at the next fuel station and then we're good. Right, I did see someone commenting about the POV on the stream. You're more than welcome to uh, put that comment on again because I didn't get a chance to read it, so you're more than welcome to. What's a trailer? It's a turbine blade. Probably a bit dark to see, but yeah, it's a turbine blade. Oh, there's a van had a crash. <laughs> Nightmare. No, you can only street sleep at rest points, buddy. Cheeky nuts, how you doing buddy? Um, and he watch you vaping on. Uh, 60, 60 to 70. What we're we doing at Mark anyway? Uh, what's, uh, oh, just, yeah, it's absolutely stupid man, the water, I'm just, <laughs> I'm soaked. <laughs> hey Mark, we uh, got a box mod today. Awesome buddy, what did you get? And, uh, Truck my driver now, uh, Scania 164L. It's a new truck to our company. Just bought it today, so fantastic. Ah, awesome, buddy. How are you doing? You alright? Not seen you in the chat for a long time. Spires are nice. Yeah, really nice, mate.
Yeah, Sam, he's, uh, he's watching the kids at the moment. Hey, uh, would you download the new Teak uh, range is worth downloading? No, probably not. Terrible. Right, Rob's back. How did your match go? Charlie, how's it going, Mark? Uh, just back from a bit of travelling and cannot believe the setup now. Fair play to you, mate. Hey, Charlie, awesome, buddy. Where, where have you been? Travelling, how long have you been away from them? When was the last time you saw me? Uh, ninth uh, with five kills. Awesome, mate. That's still better than what I would do. Yeah, quit smoking and being busy with the band I have. Uh, awesome, buddy. Uh, yes, transport. I think it is. Uh, crafts, hey buddy. Uh, hello, mate. How's it going? Uh, getting back into streaming again. Good for you, buddy. Awesome. You haven't got the DLC, have you? <laughs> oh god. I think it's on offer at the minute, like, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's good to hear, buddy, yeah. Cheeky nuts, that's good. Yeah, captures on the trucking man on a Mac. <laughs> of a steering wheel set. Uh, I've got the wheel base, not this bit, but that bit. Uh, the pedals and the shifter for uh, £700 second hand. Yeah, I don't have the best internet, mate. It might, it might be my end, I don't know. Right, uh, was away mountain biking and surfing in France, Spain for five months till I ran out of money. <laughs> ah, that's good to hear, mate. Can anyone find out if you can go on Truckers MP on a Mac? Uh, at the moment I think I'm getting about 70 down and around about 18 up. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't look stuttery on my end. Stream health and everything's good, so I don't know. Ah, cheers, 
there, bro. Not as uh, not as crystal clear as your streams, like, but I think you've got a bit faster internet than me. <laughs> Yeah, 250 and 50 up, yeah, exactly. Yeah, my my 15 to 20 can't cope with that, like. <laughs> no, I said Trucker's MP. He's playing ETS on Mac right now. We're saying, can anyone get Trucker's MP to work on a Mac? 7,500 bitrate. Yeah, I think I'm at 3,800. Yeah, I'm 1080p 60 hertz, but I'm only 3,800 uh, bitrate. I don't think I can push anymore. much your setup cost I have no idea audio has died has it how can the audio die all right okay I was gonna say I, I can see it on the stream <laughs> Oh, the bitrate can make the stream. Now, if you, if you can stream at like five to 10,000 bitrate, you'll get a much clearer stream. Yeah, reverse tech, will you be a moderator? Can you please ask next time instead of just saying, something's dead. Ask other people before you point it out to me. I know Rob, I know, but as someone who always likes to better himself, I would like to have crystal clear quality. I'm paying enough for it, Jesus Christ. Internet costs a bloody fortune. hundred dollars a month yeah I mean I could go I'm tempted to go fiber to the door but I'm on a 12 month contract with the other fiber at the minute so yeah if I go fiber to the door it's about 80 quid a month for about 350 down and 75 up Have you dedicated to Euro Truck maximum time? I don't know. I have no idea. Loving the new truck, man. Right, 350 miles ago. Yeah, I'm Clark. I mean, I'm paying about that now. Uh, a little bit less. No, I'm paying that now, but with Sky TV because uh, I got a deal on it. But again, I, I only get about 75-ish down and, and around about 15 to 20 up. It's just I could do with more than that. Yes, 
Sky Q, yeah. With uh, box sets, movies, music, sport. About 45 quid a month. But I've got the friend discount thing, so cause I know someone who works at Sky, so. Yeah, very lucky. Yeah, a gig up and a gig down, Rob. Wow. That that would be alright, wouldn't it? That would solve most of our issues. Oh my days. Mark here not bothering that room, it's like 30 degrees outside and it's about 50 degrees in here. <laughs> it's my arms are wet. I don't know if you can see but it's literally dripping off my arms, it's that hot in here. It's unbelievable, like everything's just soaked. I try to keep wiping my nose because it keeps running down my head and dripping off my nose. <laughs> Don't have a say, mate. Crank the fan to max. You'll be able to heave it though, but it's still, I don't know if it'll help that much, like... It, all it's doing now, because it's so hot, it's just pushing warm air at my face, basically. <laughs> it's just too hot. Jimmy's asking, aside from the outside temp, do you feel your setup produces more heat? Yes. No word of a lie, it'll be more than 40 degrees in here. Easy. Bear in mind I've got 12 daylight bulbs on. There's four up there, there's four up there, and then there's another four behind us. I've got nine screens in the room, as you can see over there. And then I'm running three computers with no ventilation, no windows, no blinds, no vent bricks, there's nothing in here. And the door's shut. So, oh it's hot, honestly. You think I'm overreacting, but it is hot. Well, it's, I think it's 31 outside when my wife last told us when she, before she went to work like 29 I think or 30 something like that so I would say you could add another 15 degrees on in here easy like eat honestly I'll need to get a thermometer I will need to get a thermometer absolutely I might order one just just so we can uh, we can laugh at it <laughs> I'm from Spain, Barcelona, awesome buddy. Yeah, I'm Glasgow, so when my wife went to work, I'm pretty sure she said it was 31. And then I've, I've been in here since nine o'clock this morning with, I say, nine screens, three computers, and 12 daylight bulbs on. 85 watt daylight bulbs. So, it is rough. Honestly, <laughs> I wish I, I wish I had a temp, temperature gauge just to show you how hot it is. Honestly, I don't think anyone would believe how warm it is. I lose some weight. <laughs> yeah, I'm only 10 stone. <laughs> I don't think I can lose any more weight. Mm. 
<laughs> Sam, I know. Oh, it's unreal, man. It's uncomfortable. It, uh, to be brutally honest, most of it's the chair. Because even when it's cold outside, the chair creates so much heat. It's like a... I don't know if you can see, but it's like a fleece material. So it's warm. So it just creates... You just sweat like mad. I don't know if you can see how wet my back is, but... It's unreal. No, I can't wait to change this chair. I really can't. Scan your all day, mate. Scan your all day. <laughs> Rob. Like it, mate. Like it. Yeah, it depends who's involved. Yeah, that's true. Even my computer's starting to drop frames because it's just getting too hot. <laughs> the graphics card is hotter than it's ever been. Even the radiator and that, it can't cool itself because the room's too hot. Oh, that's a nice view, isn't it? Wow. Right, part down in the morning, uh, it took me like 30 minutes, uh, yeah, well I was going to go drifting next, but I've got to be honest with you, with the heat, I don't know if I'll be able to, it's roasting. Yeah, uh, I'm on the farm in the night mate, yeah. It doesn't matter if I went water cool, the, the point is, fans take the room air, push it through a radiator to cool the liquid. My room air is like 40, 50 degrees. There's no, nothing cool here to then cool with. That's the problem, it's because there's no ventilation in the room. Yeah, I can't put AC in, so I will need to move house to put AC in. Definitely need to sort something out, I'll tell you that. Don't get me wrong, normal temperature, 10 to 20 degrees, I'm not too bad, the uh, the fan's brilliant, but when it's just this hot. Yeah, it's a rented house so I can't put AC in, you know, it's just one of them things. I have already thought about this. <laughs> Yeah, so you can get you can get portable coolers, but the problem is with a portable cooler it needs an intake, so it gets the intake from either a window or a, a vent in the wall, or you can just open the window and put a pipe in. But I can't do that because I'm on a main bus route, and uh, it's really noisy. That's why I can't have the window up. That's why the window's shut. See the blind there down, I'd never have the window up. So Yeah, the little icebox ones here. I mean this fan's noisy, don't get me wrong, but it's nothing like what the AC unit's like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think a glory hole's gonna help us lads. Come on. <laughs> It depends how long the ice would actually last. This is the point. It'd be so hot. MDGM, how are you doing? Long time no speak. I'm quite enjoying this uh, ride out in the Scania. Yeah? I 
the thing is, I can't go out anyway because my wife's at work, so what else do I do? I just need to suffer the heat at the moment. Even with the dogs you see, it's burning the paws when I walk them outside. So they're struggling as well, so I don't know if I might just uh, not bother streaming there. Uh, drifting today, I don't know. It's just too goddamn hot. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've got loads of shade for them in the house and I've created like a through draft downstairs for them. So they're fine in the house. Outside the concrete's that hot, it's burning the paws. Are oh, you in Heathrow? Ah. Possibly going in here, I don't know. Alright, three hours for my next rest. Five hours remaining. Alright, we'll just keep going, yeah. You're in the van trying to sleep in the heat, man. I bet that's not enjoyable. Nice hills up here, though, eh? This is pretty cool. Computer's starting to lag, sorry guys. It's just getting a bit hot. Headphone up and it all runs down my neck, that's why I keep wiping my face and my beard. It's that hot, like it's just stupid. Lovely 19 degrees, not looking forward to going home. Ah, uh, yeah, I bet, mate. Oh, nice view. Yeah, I was gonna say the dogs will need the AC before you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, lose the beard, it'll make me cool though, you might be right. Yeah, there you go, that's the truck. Three mile ago. The only downside is I need to sleep again, so I'll definitely need to take the next sleep. Ah, oh, it's just the sound in the gearbox for some reason. It's not actually me missing gears, but it just, uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's a single or something like that. I have no idea.
Yeah, me and my wife noticed that just going to Birmingham. Like how uh, how polluted it was, you know. And London's gonna be worse than that. Can't find it, grind it. Only in an eye record though. Never grind the scan yet. <laughs> Never grind the scan yet. You really want to get into breakdown there and all that. <laughs> This thing drinks a few. Right, uh <laughs> I assume the speedo on your Porsche wheel is in kilometres. Yes it is, yep. Yeah. yeah, the speedo that is on my dashboard, which is behind it, is in miles an hour. I can change it to a mile an hour if I want to, but it's still the same point. Ah, okay mate, yeah. Keep putting the time in, buddy. You'll be able to afford a scan you one day. Right, uh, cheeky nuts, uh, well, 70k now. Yeah, yeah, we just hit 70k today, to be fair. Well, an hour ago. Yeah, to be fair, Sam uh, firefighters here more than some at the minute, like. Congrats on the 70k, cheers buddy. Uh, rev counter, it's a Sim Simcojex circuit board and it's just USB to the computer so if you're on about this rev counter, it's no commitment. <laughs> yeah, both of you don't have much commitment to be fair. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh, firefight is brutal there eh, on the attack. He's turned into a into an aggressive person, isn't he? Uh, best wheel for starting's got to be the, uh, the. It's got to be the one you can afford. Ah, cheers, Rob. Yeah, yeah. Everything's getting smashed. We started a new goal yesterday, so that's the one that everyone voted for, and uh, 40 percent through that already. So everything's just getting absolutely whack, man. man. We had been in 60k for so long. Well, it felt like a long time. I know technically it wasn't, but it's been nice to like see 70. <laughs> Watching some 4K movies at 60. Uh, at the bother. Oh, I bet. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, 4K must be taxing. I think you've got a fairly good computer, though, haven't you? Right, we haven't got much money left. <laughs> 20 grand and we owe the bank about 500,000. But we do own a new Scanny. That's what it's all about. I don't know how much we're getting for this job. 40 grand for this job. out of 1070 Ti, yeah, I bet it does. Yeah, I mean, I, I struggle with some frame rates on some games, and this computer is an absolute machine. I mean, to be honest, even my desk computer is an absolute monster, to be fair. I'm actually possibly going to be selling the RAM out of that computer soon as well, so I might put it on the group in case anybody wants it. Yeah, well I've got 16 in, in the desk computer, but it's four fours, so I can't go any further with it. So I would like to put sell the four fours and put two eights in it, and then I'll put another two eights in later on. This computer that I'm on has got 32 in, and it's fantastic. Firefighter, I thought you were leaving. Towards the door no goal. Uh, yeah, and time out, firefighter, will ya? I can't. I can't. We have to. We <laughs> Sorry, Rob. It's <laughs> raining money. If uh, if you want, I can refund you, like, but I can't do time out. I stopped it. It became ridiculous. So, sorry mate, I can't. I know, I know. But I can give you a refund if you like. Not a problem. I should have mentioned that, but yeah, got, you had to get stopped because it was... I couldn't get any gaming done. I could not get any gaming done. But thank you for putting us over 15% mate, I appreciate it. I can't 
can't wait to get that fitted for, for my wife, it's going to be awesome. Ah uh, well, I'll come over to your end of the woods one day and uh, get some people. I didn't do nothing uh, and I was going to subscribe to you as well. <laughs> Right, when can you play ETS 2 MP? Uh, tomorrow, Friday, 9 o'clock till 11 o'clock UK time, Saturday, 9 till 11, and Sunday, 9 till 11. Trust my brother in law 1000 for his 60 inch. Yeah, I can't, I can't go 60, so I can only go 55. But it's good enough for us. We've never had a, a good telly, so she's excited. All her friends have got like 65 inch curved TV, so she never ever wanted like any tech, my way, but the TV was the only thing she really wanted. <laughs> 70 mile ago. And I might need to go for a shower. Yeah, Rob is a really good streamer though. Jocks aside, he is really good. Check out the legs, man. Get my wife so happy with uh, the 50 and the PS4 for Netflix. Bit of game and like, yeah, I bet, mate, yeah. No, she never asked for out like that. I've got a 50 now, but it's terrible. The picture quality, it was never good. It was our first TV we ever bought. Hey, Jake, how are you doing? You alright? Yeah, hit 70 in the uh, Ride 2 stream. I think at the moment, with it, everything being quite down and everything being quite slow, uh, I think the channel, I think we're getting around about 4K subscribers a month. I think it's around about that, so. Hey, uh, Roston, oh mate, me too, absolutely sucked. <laughs> Honestly, as disgusting as it is, I was going to use my BM wheel, but I couldn't because everything's so wet. Hey, <laughs> uh, what's good? Here's the old camera position, but glad you kept this one. Oh no, this is a new camera position, like, this is the one. I had to go back to the other one yesterday because the GoPro ran out of charge. But I like the GoPro, I think it I think it relates more what I see. So I definitely need to adjust some lights. I need to move that light. That's causing a lot of problem. But because of a lot of reflections and that, but at the end of the day, it is two o'clock in the morning in game. So uh, you can still see stuff, so Ah, Sam, she's no Moira, you are right there, she's not watching a bit of Moira this morning. Oh, that was waiting for the shop in the club. Robert, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well, mate. No, no, the old, the thumbnails just 
a picture of the of the old uh, camera. But no, this is a new record. Yeah, okay, mate. Yeah, you take it easy. See you in the farm. Game day for me Monday after we washing machine man turn up. Ah, yeah. That was my dad years ago, the washing machine man. I'm going to Stravanger. I am 17 miles away, so not far away. I don't know if we'll have time to do another job or not. tuning packs out for all the trucks as well. Right, we are nearly here and I am absolutely roasted. I don't even know how long I've been on actually. Gotta park this big beast. And then we're done. Try and open the window a bit and let the computer go down because uh <laughs> the CPU's getting a bit hot. I've never seen it that hot. But it's because the radiator can't get any cool air, you see. I play Euro Truck 2 Mark, can you put the gear, st the gear stick camera on? I don't have a gear stick camera anymore, so uh, it's, it's just this. I, what I can do is I can change the view on the GoPro to make it a bit wider so you guys can actually see me shifting, but I think you can see me shifting better uh, on this camera than what you could on the, on the gearbox cam personally, but... Right. Am I going to hard park it? I don't think I'm going to hard park it. I'm going to go easy park. Sorry, but I just, I can't be bothered to park it. Jerry, what do you mean you don't think you have enough time for your time card to... The boss is waiting. How are you doing mate, you alright? Sound a little bit chirpier today. Right, uh, bear with this two seconds. Oh, we need 11 million views as well. Not bad. Right, so, ah, we're alright. We could do it. We could do another run. 
So 20 minutes, so that I could run till what, half past five to quarter, I could push till quarter to six, but I don't know whether I'm going to go drifting today, to be honest with you, I might just knock that on the head today, it's, it's just too damn hot to be spinning the wheel around, it's like when you're spinning the wheel and that, it's so hot. <laughs> Right, we're gonna take this truck back to right, what do we own? Right, we'll go back to Edinburgh and we'll try and work our way down to the UK. What is my dad doing? I, I don't know, I don't speak to my dad very regularly. I only speak to him on stream, <laughs> honestly. Because I'm streaming other other than that, so Right, we're in Edinburgh, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. We're going to go to the old job market and get a job for... Because I won't finish this job, but it means I can end with a good job. Uh, big concrete block. Another... Uh, I don't want to do another one of them. The job's out to Perth, like, but I don't fancy going to Perth. Uh, Right, what if I go to the Inverness garage? I can't wait until we've got enough money to buy another garage, man. JD, uh, I hear you being annoying, Sam. I just want to give him around the plus. <laughs> alright, mate, how are you doing? You alright? Right, aha, a couple of more interesting jobs here. Nice set of logs down to Edinburgh. Uh, what else have we got? Trying to think where I want to go. I think we'll just take the logs down to Edinburgh. Not big money like, but it's something. Does the GoPro through Camlink? It looks great and the quality is fantastic. Uh, yes, through Camlink and uh, OBS. Just take a bit of fettling to get working, but it definitely does work. And don't forget, you'll need a good HDMI cable, uh, depending on where your computer is, and a, a USB extension. Yeah, I've got mine here. You can see cable tied together, both both 10 meter. You need that more around the room, then you see. earning enough money to pay that hundred grand loan off again. Jack plays, I'm doing good. Very, 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 very hot. But uh, I think I'm going to get a lot of messages and a lot of complaining if I don't go drifting. So I might still go drifting, but it's just too damn hot. <laughs>
Yeah, that's the problem, like, I can't even walk the dogs at the moment. A Labrador on the way back from the walk earlier. I didn't even take him far, it was only about four minutes and his paws were that hot he started to limp. Matt, yeah, should be using a welder mark in your condition, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's true. Right, uh, just go have a cool down. The last thing you need is heat stroke. <laughs> I'll not get heat stroke. So, it'll be fine. I'll go and get this job. Oh, Jesus, that's a bit wobbly. We're going to get this job picked up. Right, there's a World Cup on today or something as well, some of us saying. I don't know what World Cup he was on about. Possibly like the World Cup of Tennis or something. No, seriously, is the World Cup on today? Or has it already been? Someone was going on about it earlier on. Yeah, see you later, Sam. Take it easy, mate. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> My OBS is dropping frames bad, it's just the computer's too hot. It is getting a bit warm, like. Yeah, but I can't because we need to go out for a pee and we don't have a garden, so... Well, we do have a garden, but we don't have a garden I can let them pee in. Because uh, it's just too small, so... I have to walk them down to the roundabout where we let them pee. It's like a bus roundabout, so it's just grass, basically, but... It's just too hot for them. Right, I'm going to park it here and uh, pick it up from the next we'll pick it up next time from here uh, I just need to stand up a bit it's just getting a bit warm for us sorry I do apologize but uh, I should be back with some sort of drifting I might just go racing instead I'm thinking racing might be a bit less less athletic but I just need to uh, I need to cool down because it's just too hot so sorry about that guys but I will be back uh, later on so thanks again for joining, thanks again for all the support with uh, the subs, really do appreciate it and uh, big shout out to anyone who's helped out with the goal, uh, that's us past 15% so thanks again for that and I'll see you all, all later on. Thanks again guys and take care.